Good day, my computer broke down so I'm a bit behind with my videos and this time I'm just going to talk about Call of Luna. Most people are probably familiar with Call of Luna but the band is from Umeå where Refuse and other well-known Swedish hardcore acts are from. And Call of Luna was formed in 98 when Claes Rydberg and Johannes Persson's uh, former hardcore band Eclipse split up and uh, they released their debut full length. This one is uh, self-titled in 2001 through Rage of Achilles and to be remembered was the first song I heard with the band and I think it was on a compilation of some kind and the music is very heavy wall of sound with sublime, sublime melodies and this contains eight tracks it's one hour long and sleep is my absolute favorite from this record and I have the vinyl it's a 2017 repress and also the CD, it's a 2003 reissue, and the vinyl, the record is records are on black vinyl, and it's a gatefold with lyrics. Very good stuff. Here's a snippet. We have The Beyond, it was released in 2002 through Earache Records and The Beyond, Beyond takes the debut but added layers upon layers with guitars and I think there are six or seven guitars on some parts and uh, it's uh, 10 tracks, it's 74 minutes long and on this record my favorite track is Further and my version is uh, the original 2002 See the release? It's uh, very good stuff. Here's a snippet. In 2004 the band released Salvation through Eric Records and with Salvation the band scaled back from the wall of sound approach from the beyond and have a little more post rock influence. The first track for instance Echoes uh, goes on for several minutes before it gets heavy and the band did this in regards to making it easier to recreate in a live situation since they, they only have three guitarists. And Salvation contains of 8 tracks, it's 73 minutes long, and my favorite track is uh, Vague Illusions. And my, I have the original 2004 CD release, but I can't find it, but I also have the 2016 vinyl repress. And the records are on clear vinyl, it's a gatefold, there is... There are no lyrics for some reason, but you get a sheet with the story about the album by Johannes Persson. Very good stuff. Here's a snippet. In 2006, the band released what I think is their most criti critically acclaimed album, uh, Somewhere Along the Highway, uh, through also through Eric Records. And Somewhere Along the Highway is a little heavier than Salvation, but they have retained the post-rock influences, so it's more, uh, it's more like Salvation than The Beyond and The Debut. Contains seven tracks, 64 minutes long, and Dark City Dead Man is my favorite track. The ending at the 9.30 mark, and for six minutes, it's the pinnacle of Cult of Luna, in my opinion. And I have the original 2006 CD release, and also the 2016 vinyl repress. And the, the records are on clear vinyl. You get a lyric sheet. And it's also a gatefold. Here's a snippet. <laughs> D 
this is Eternal Kingdom. It was released in 2008 through Erake Records. And during Eternal Kingdom, the band made up a story about getting their hands on a journal from a mental patient, and it's themed around that. It turned out to be a marketing trick after local media digged into the story. The Eternal Kingdom was their first record in their discography that I think I was... Uh, I didn't think it was up to par with its predecessor. There are a couple of their best tracks of all, like Ghost Trail and Following Betulas, El Betulas. But the other tracks, while not bad at all, it's not as good as you'd expect from the band, but it's still a very, a very good record. It contains 10 tracks. Little one, little over one hour, and Ghost Trail is my favorite track. And I have the 2008 original CD release and also a 2017 repress of the vinyl. It's uh, gatefold, and the records are on black vinyl. You get a lyric sheet. Here's a snippet. This is Mariner with Cult of Luna and Julie Christmas. And after the vertical release, the band released Eternal Music, also the soundtrack to the audiobook Eviga Riket, Eternal Kingdom. That was an expansion of the Eternal Kingdom theme, and I haven't really heard it, so I can't say if it's any good or not. But in 2016, the band joined forces with Julie Christmas from Made Out of Babies and Battle of Mice. And while some critics and fans deem this the band's finest moment in their career, I disagree completely. It's very good, but I actually think it's their worst release to date. And I think Julie Christmas gets too much screen time. I like when she uses her soft voice and her shrieks, but the in-between does not flow with me. And this contains only five tracks, but it's 54 minutes long, and my favorite track is A Greater Call. And I have uh, the 2016 original CD release, and also the 2016 original vinyl press. And the records are on black vinyl, and it's a gatefold. And uh, you get printed inner sleeves with lyrics. Here's a snippet. In 2017, the band released live at La Gaîté Lyrique, Paris, through uh, indie recordings. In uh, it's uh, from their show at La Gaîté Lyrique in pa in Paris, and the first half contains a mixture of songs from Vertical, Vertical 2, Eternal Kingdom, and Salvation, and the second half is somewhere along the highway in its full glory. And I've seen the band live six times and the sound quality is excellent and the band is as uh, tight as ever capturing the live intensity as good as you can on a record it contains uh, 13 tracks and it's almost two two hours long and this is the 2017 original vinyl release and the records are on black vinyl here's a snippet Earlier this year, Cult of Luna released their eighth studio album called A Dawn to Fear. And uh, it was released through Metal Blade Records. And what's most striking is that the first track, The Silent Man, is very up-tempo to be Cult of Luna. But it wor works very well and live. I saw them live a couple of weeks ago. It's even better. But that's the uh, the other songs are more uh, like um, like usual uh, tempo of Cult of Luna. That means s pretty slow. And if I were to compare the record, it feels like a mix of somewhere along the highway, Eternal Kingdom, and Vertical. It has uh, eight tracks and it's eighty minutes long. And uh, 
all tracks are very good. I, uh, the Silent Man is the one who sticks out. I don't know if it's the best one, but it's the most, uh, uh, it's the most easily recognizable, and it came in a var variety of colors. But I opted for the smoky clear vinyl, and it's uh, you get a lyric sheet. It's a gatefold as per usual. And it, here's a snippet. If I were to rank all studio records, my least favorite is Mariner, and then I would say Vertical and Eternal Kingdom. Dawn to Fear is somewhere in between those, uh, those two, and the self-titled debut and the beyond. And my favorite some days are Salvation, and other days it's somewhere along the highway. So uh, Dawn to Fear is one of the best records to come out this year. Thanks for watching.